Ron DeSantis. And they said, they said, Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how fucking cute. That is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians before bombing their houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I mean, okay, Habibi, you have uh, warned them, go invade, it's fine, you have done your job. I mean, the thing is, and I understand, all, and I also heard Ben Shapiro talking about, uh, about human shield. So you remember my wife's family, they live in Gaza. So I asked them, I told them, when Israel give you the nice warning, the cute warning, does Hamas force you to stay in your home so you can be bombed and use a, a, as, as human shield? You know, what, uh, Hassan here, uh, my, my, wife's, uh, my wife's cousin, he's a, he's, a, he's a loser, you know. He, he told me, you know, when I asked him, does that happen? He told me, no. The lying son of a bitch lied to me. I told him, you don't understand. Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis keep saying that Israel warns you and Hamas asks you to, keep, to stay put. So I, 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 I told you, he's a loser. He never kept a job. He even like failed in all of the interviews to become like a human shield. I, I, I would believe... This guy, bro, I'm sorry. The sarcasm is crazy. The sarcasm is crazy with this guy. Oh my gosh, fascinating guy. Clearly he's being sarcastic. And I guess that's the only way he's able to get through this interview is by being sarcastic because you can tell emotionally he's angry. Emotionally he's angry. So he's hiding behind, behind sarcasm. He's making some very, very interesting points too. You know, the idea that Israel basically warns Palestinians that they're going to bomb out the place. It's, it's ridiculous. That doesn't change anything. It's true. Israel is still bombing Gaza. It doesn't change anything. Just because they warned them doesn't mean that anything's gonna change. Like, I, I understand the points he's making, but he's using sarcasm to make these points. Fascinating guy. I know, it's the first time I heard about this guy. The job, he even like failed in all of the interviews to become like a human shield. I, I, I would believe right. Ben Shapiro. Let but me let's, ask you this, let, So let's go with that. No, 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 let's, no, no, let me ask but you At some this. point, I must be able to if ask we, you questions. If we, it's not if a monologue agree, for if you, we agree, but If we agree, if we agree that for the 14,000 casualties, I mean, who's counting, are human shield, does that mean that every single one of those civilians was standing, obscuring a military target behind them? Because that's a lot of weapons. I mean, Hamas is packing. No, of course it doesn't. It, and look, I, you know... It I doesn't, so, so, there, so there is some collateral damage. Lots of collateral damage. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. You kill, you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. I would, let I me agree. ask you this. Again, it comes back to proportionate response. When the, world, yes. when the world decided it had to get rid of ISIS because of the appalling butchery they were carrying out, uh, yes. it did so by, by also killing, it very sadly, a lot of civilians along the way by doing airstrikes yeah. against... Places which but killing civilians ISIS are inevitable. So you my, said that in the beginning. My point is once, it's, in, it's inevitable. Yeah, but once inevitable. Israel, we, once we, we, Israel we. has decided that they want to get rid of Hamas mm -hmm. and Hamas is embedded with civilian yes. population, I'm very concerned about yes. what's going to happen next. I've written a column tonight saying yeah, I remember the Iraq and, and war, the which is, I oppose, I, right? I, I, I remember all this. So my question for you is... I know. I, what would, be, what would yeah, you think would be an appropriate response by Israel to what happened? Well, well, the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before so it will work? What, what will be the surprise this time? What will be the twist? That he makes a point. This, this war has been raging for ages. Before I was born, man. And Israel has been literally dropping bombs on Palestinians. Has it really changed anything? All these lives are being lost. But what is changing? The war is still raging on. Before, so it will work. What, what will be the surprise this time? What will be the twist that will make this work this time? What? What will be different this time? Seriously, I mean, like, this is only the last 15 years. I mean, because it's too, too many papers. I just got this. But what, how, how will this will be different? And the thing is, it, I am so glad in the introduction that you mentioned the Iraq war. I applaud you, Pierce, for saying that because you were honest about it. You said that spreading lies like WMDs, make mm. people look at those people as less of humans and they would accept the death of a million Iraqi, whether by shanks, no, sanctions agree. or by invasion, right? You are, you, you are a good man. This is amazing. And you know what is similar? Is when you spread the lies of 40 decapitated babies, mm. although it was refuted, Ben Shapiro once tweeted, not even about Gaza, about the West Bank, when Israel continued to build the illegal settlement, mm. he said, 2017, Israel likes to build things 
And Arabs, not Palestine, not Hamas, mm. Arabs like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. Yeah, I thought that yeah, was very, very good the, 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 the Israeli, de the, the, Israeli defen the, the Israeli defense minister, he said, those are human animals. Mm. And the thing is, Ben Shapiro should know better because, you know, long before the Holocaust, before Jewish people were thrown in the gas chambers, the Nazi propaganda called them rats. Mm. Now, as a human being, I will never accept that another human being being thrown in a, into a gas chamber, but uh, a rat, kill a t ten, kill a thousand, three thousand five hundred. They are son of a bitch. They are human animals who live in open sewage and decapitate babies. And mm. because of that propaganda, Mr. Morgan, mm. that guy in Illinois, the 71 years old guy, he killed stabbing the six years old Palestinian kid in Illinois 26 times. And he used to play with him. They used to be friends. But he went in marching into their apartment stabbing his mother and killing him, shouting, all Muslims could die. Yeah. It took you 80 years to change one word from Jewish to Muslim. Mm. And then you transferred your guilt to us and took away our land. Let me that, ask that, you a question. That deal sucks, man. Let me ask you a yeah. question. Uh, ask, how ask do him. we get from where we are now to peace? Well, first of all, you need to change the perception. Uh, Nikki Haley, the American presidential candidate, said, we are in Israel in this because it's a fight between evil, uh, good and evil. Now, if you already decided someone is good, he can do no evil. And if you decide that someone is evil, it's good to kill them. Killing them is good. You see, and, and the thing is it, is, it is not like something new. I mean, I, I, I look at history and I see, I'm sorry to say, and I'm sorry to say this, but Westerners has, has always dealt like this with indigenous people. You first treat them like savages, you know, Native American, First Nation, Aboriginal. They're savages. Kill all the savages. And then when they're almost extinct, you start. But to be fair, to be fair, I'm pretty sure Pierce has always been saying Hamas, they are the ones, they are the ones who are causing the problems. And Hamas are just one subsection of people. Pierce is not going after the entire Palestinian nation. He's just saying Hamas are the, are the aggressive ones. Start feeling sorry for them. Kill all the savages, and then when they're almost extinct, you start feeling sorry for them, you know, like animals. So maybe, maybe the solution is that we kill as many Palestinians as possible so that few of them that remains do not bother you. And you maybe keep, Netanyahu, you keep talking he about, for, it, yeah, for another Hussain, hundred years, he will become a tree hugger. Let me just challenge you on this. And he will campaign all right, for, listen, for, for, for you, preserving you keep, the three You keep talking that, about yeah, Westerners go, like me. OK, so let me return the favour, OK? Hamas yes. is dedicated to the complete eradication of Jewish people. I am they, not the spokesman for Hamas. I'm not saying you are. Why do you, why do you keep, I'm not saying I'm you not are. I'm not the spokesman. You're talking I to me. I fucking hate them. Bassem, Fuck Hamas. You are, you are, some Hamas. No, are no, you happy? You're missing my point. You're talking in a okay. generalised way about people in the West who always talk about Arabs yeah. as savages. I don't. No, no, no. I'm talking I about America. I never have. I actually Western led the media. campaign. I'm talking about West I led the I'm, media campaign listen, in this country we... against the Iraq war. OK, so I don't you see... Are, you, 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 I don't see people in the Middle ones, East Pierce. as savages. You but are what I would one say of the is, good ones. But what I, I would say is... I am not talking about you. You're great. No, no, it's not about me You're being amazing. great. It's we about, love you. It's about the way Hamas behaved on October the 7th was like savages, like a pack of savages. It was the worst atrocity against Jewish people yes. since the Holocaust. There has to be... Of course. There has to be a response. They, and my they question should be you eradicated. Is, my question they should for be you is, until notwithstanding the, the history, Basim, what is the proportionate response? But I don't know, but there's no Hamas in the West Bank and they're still dying there. So what's mm. your excuse? I don't have any excuse. The, OK, what's, what's your explanation? Sorry, sorry, uh, my earpiece went down. Mm. I, okay. I, listen, I don't make any pretense that this hasn't been a massive problem okay, what, 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 uh, between Palestine I, 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 and Israel I, yeah. going back to the mid-40s. We all know this, right? I, I, I'm, 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 yeah, 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 Pierce, 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 listen. I'm not saying that you're making excuses, but if you are adopting a certain point of view, mm. you have to at least defend it. I'm telling you there is no Hamas in the West Bank. What is, what is the excuse? Mm. Not your excuse. What is the excuse to kill those people? Mm. Well, it's, listen, this question of proportionality is one that... No, it, no, no, answer my question! I've hmm. been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. It's not. OK, not your, not your job. Not. I, I, I agree with I'm you. I'm more it interested in you, job. who has family I'll, 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 in Gaza, I'll, 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 who's an Egyptian I'll tell you, I'll tell you in, that, in the Middle East, right? I'm more interested in what you have to say. Let, OK, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think Hamas is the problem, OK? Right. Now, let's say agree. Hamas is removed. 
Let's Hamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm agreeing with everything. Boss, you want me to condemn Hamas? I will condemn Hamas, Hummus, Hassan, uh, yeah. everyone. Guys, say, so wait. I can't hear you. The, uh, the earpiece. Damn, okay. Oops. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I do need help. I think, I think okay. just go, go back. Is he there? Go back, you go. Can you, you go hear back. Me? Okay, go. Thank you, guys. Can you hear Basil? Yeah, yeah, now I can hear it. Okay. So the, here's the thing. Can you hear? Okay. Yeah. So Isaac, let's say, for example, Hamas ceased mm. to exist. Okay? Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah? Hamas ceased to exist today. Now, right now, in Palestine, mm. in West Bank and, and, uh, and Gaza, 20% of Palestinians go through Israeli prison system, whether mm. imprisonment, whether uh, 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 interrogation, whether torture. And the rest of them, they live a life of daily loss of land, of homes, of life, mm -hmm. and they are, they are suffocated by this. So let me ask you something. If you are a Palestinian living into these conditions for decades, mm -hmm. would, you, would you sympathize with your oppressor or sympathize with the people who claim they resist them even if they are terrorists? I have made, I have made no secret that I think the conditions Palestinians have had to exist under are completely unacceptable. Yeah. I've said that for years. So the question then becomes, okay. How do you forge peace between two warring parts of that region who, for decades, have approached peace, in my view, with mutual sledgehammers, with no actual desire to have peace? And I think it comes down, in the end, to great leadership. Well, and well, I, I don't think there's yeah, great leadership... Yeah, yeah, but, but, I don't think... Well, hang on, let me make my point. I don't think there's great leadership on either side. Where is the Nelson Mandela figure here to come through all this Nelson, hatred Nelson, on both Nelson sides? Nelson Mandela? Yeah, well, where is that Nelson figure? Mandela... Nelson Mandela actually have criticized Israel for being a horrible state. All of the South African uh, I, I know. activists have actually my point called is, Israel. Uh, my, uh, my point is yes. about how he, how he responded to a country that was so divided is a, tem I, I is a, template, I I I, is a template for how you I, get to peace, isn't it? I, I, I haven't met Nelson Mandela, so I wouldn't know. Mm. But like, I, 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 there is a point, there's a, there's a very important point here. You know, I want to understand what is the logic of Israel carpet bombing Gaza? I mean, if there is a logic, if it is a good, if this will make Israel safe, I want to hear the logic. So, if they continue bombing, what are they hoping to achieve? Well, this I think what, we know what, what their we know what their stated aim is. Their stated aim is to eradicate yes. and wipe out Hamas. They believe Hamas no, are yeah, living but, are living predominantly in northern Gaza. They also are aware they're living amongst civilians. So it's an incredibly difficult okay. thing. As so, I said, as I said so, in my so monologue, so, 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 you know, it is so very very so difficult to see how I, they I, do I, this I, without I, massive collateral I damage. Can, so, if I can understand this correctly, basically Israel is doing this to pressure the Palestinian community in Gaza to turn against Hamas. Is that right? I'm sure that's part of it, yes. That's part of it. So this is exactly what terrorist organizations do, because terrorist organizations will have no chance beating a whole nation in battle. So they terrorize and they kill the civilians in order to spread fear and terror so they can turn against their government to change their policy or to resign. You have just compared Israel with ISIS. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't, I don't see any comparison between these two. It's going to be ISIS. the headlines tomorrow. Piers yeah, Morgan, no, not, Israel is... I he's a very intelligent guy, man. You've got to hand it to him, man. He's very eloquent. This whole time, he's just been using sarcasm to make his points. Literally. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Fascinating guy. I don't, th I don't see any comparison between these two. It's going to be ISIS. the headlines tomorrow. Piers yeah, think, Morgan, no, not, Israel is ISIS. Only, is only amongst people who weren't listening. The, the comparison, of which course. is more apposite, is ISIS and Hamas. They are both nihilistic yes, terror groups absolutely. intent on killing as many Jewish people and others as they can possibly kill. And you, you, can't, know what? I'm you, can't, you can't get I'm peace with people like that. Absolutely. You know what? I'm going to do something that nobody done on your television. Mm. You know what I'm going to do I'm on your episode? I'm, I'm, gonna do, I'm going to pretend that I'm an Israeli citizen. I'm going to put my, my, myself in the, in the place of an Israeli settler in the kaputs. And I want to speak to my Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, I have voted for you because you have promised us peace and prosperity and security. On the 7th of October, those son of bitches Hamas, they went into the fence that is regularly heavy, heavily guarded. Usually if there's like a, a, a dove that comes close to it, it will be shot. Mm -hmm. Those people went in and they went for six hours before IDF forces was deployed killing our friends, 
our families, kidnapping our grandmothers and babies, and went in. I want to ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, after you have fractured the Israeli community and you have fucked our courts, our Supreme Courts, what are you doing with the money being given to you to the United States? Also, you are carpet bombing Gaza with absolutely no regard to our hostages, our people. I heard a rumor in the kibbutz that you are doing that as an you let that happen to as an excuse to carpet bomb Gaza, so you push them into Sinai. And I didn't believe that. That's like not my prime minister. He can never do that. And then I watch an interview for Danny Ayelon. He was your chief advisor. He was also the Israeli ambassador to the United States. And you know what he said, Mr. Prime Minister? He said that the solution for those Palestinians is to go into a vast land of Sinai and live into 10 cities temporarily, huh? temporarily, wink, wink, until we build Gaza again, and then we invite you back. Aha. We've seen this movie before. So, and when I saw this, I couldn't explain to my fellows in the kibbutz how come our Israeli government is trading human lives for another piece of land? So as an Israeli citizen, I need to hold my Israeli government accountable. And as an American citizen, I want to know all of these money that we are giving to Israel. We're giving them $4 billion every year. Joe Biden said it's the best investment they ever, America ever done. Well, I, if I am in the, in the place of Joe Biden, I would say, sorry, don't speak uh, yet. I, I, would, I would say, if I was Joe Biden, I would go down and whisper in the ears of Netanyahu and tell them, I hate bad investments. They haunt me, you know, like Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. But the thing is, the thing is, this is the problem. Israel always victimizes itself, and I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Is, dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. He fucks you up, and then he makes you think it's your fault. All right, you Basim. look at Israel as Superman, but they're really homelander. Wallahi, they are like wow, they're, you, you, they are shooting Basim, fish I want to say in one a barrel, thing. and want... they are annoyed with the splashes. Basim, I want to say two things. One, if you could just slightly mind your language. We are uncensored, but if you keep swearing... I am very sorry. We I have am, to apologise to viewers. You may so be offended by that. I apologise. Um, but I understand I passions run high, so let's not get too bogged down about the old swear uh, I word. I apologise to... No, I think the main reason why Israel is so aggressive... After World War II, man, all Schwitz and all of that stuff really messed with their heads. PTSD is a real thing. Trauma is a real thing. Imagine your whole family trees wiped out in bloody Auschwitz. World War II completely changed the mindset of Jews. And I think that's why they're so aggressive. I'm not saying it's right what they're doing, but I'm just explaining why they're so aggressive. They don't want to be victims anymore. They just don't want to be victims anymore. I apologize. Um, but I understand passions I run high, so let's not get too bogged down about the old swear word. I apologize word. to the um, viewers. I apologize to the viewers for my language. I, my second question the, is this. The, after the, the, the sight of, uh, of dead civilians. After the break, we have the managing director of The Daily Wire, which is Ben Shapiro's company. We were going to interview him on his own, but he's happy to come on and talk with you directly if you are prepared to stay. Well, of course, I, I, I can stay, but again, I am... <sighs> fuck this... I am in a disadvantage, and I would like to have my space to respond. OK, we'll come back after the break. I do, Stay I, there, I, Basim. I, 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 because, because, because here's the thing. There's Basim, two things we, we're going to go to a break. Before, right? When we come back from the break, we, we'll be you and Jeremy I, and Boring my, my, from my, The Daily Wire. My, 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 I have news We're taking that. a short break, Basim. I'll be back. This Basim guy is the first time I've heard about him. I think a Mohammed Hijab made an interesting point yesterday. He was basically saying, instead of all these crazy airstrikes, why not send in a few... Um, Israeli troops into Gaza. That would have been a better way of handling the situation instead of just carpet bombing all Gaza and like literally killing all these innocent Palestinian children and, and, and mothers and daughters and fathers, you know? There could have been a better way of handling it. All these airstrikes, probably not the most logical thing to do, but sending a few Israeli troops into Gaza, perhaps that might have been a, the best thing to do.